everyone, have you ever been scrolling through the internet and you come across this workout, you're like, this looks amazing. I think I could be the next before and after. You're in luck. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the top 11, it was supposed to be 10, I don't know how to count, top 11 workouts on the internet right now. I actually spent the last four months, including the last four minutes, as you can see, trying out every single one of these workouts to make sure I give you an honest and complete review of each. By the way, in case you were worried I was gonna wear this leotard for the rest of this video, I am not. I do not wanna make you feel awkward. I'm gonna go change right now. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome. I'm so glad you're here with us. This is a place where we talk all about women's health, things going on with the female body, and maybe you have a female body or maybe you just are interested in how they work. Either way, welcome, we're so glad you're here. So let's get started by talking about Sydney Cummings. She is a YouTube star, in my opinion. So many followers, so many subscribers, and puts out amazing workouts every single day. 5 a.m. every single day. I don't know how she has time and energy to do that many workouts, but she does it. It's amazing. She will kick your booty though. She gets the award for like booty kicking workouts. The best things I found about her workouts are that they're totally free because they are on YouTube. They will definitely get you sweating and working your butt off. And there are lots of modifications. She always has a little picture up in the corner with the modification for the exercise that she's showing. Some of the cons about her workout program are that they're really not very pregnancy or postpartum safe. So if you are a new mom or an expecting mom and you haven't worked with a pelvic floor physical therapist to figure out exactly how to safely modify exercise to make sure you're not going to end up with a blown out pelvic floor or a ab abdominal separation, then I wouldn't recommend her workouts. They're really intense. The other con about her program is that typically they work best when you have a good variety of weights. Now, like I said, she always has modifications and many of them you can do without weights, but if you're to the point of like, oh, I just wanna get beast mode, then you're probably gonna wanna have lots of different weights so that you can really overload your muscles and see that progress that you would definitely see with her programs if you have access to lots of variations in weights. Number two, we have Prancer Size. I've got my ankle weights in place and my music's ready. So let's stop talking and do some walking. If you have never seen this, you have got to check this out. This will make your day. This woman is a YouTube workout trailblazer. I think she had to be one of the first people to be posting workouts like this. The pros of Prancer Size are that it's gonna get you moving. And if you don't really wanna be sweaty because you're just working out on your lunch hour, as you can see from her demonstration here, you can do this in a nice necklace, dress clothes, and you probably won't break a sweat. That is probably one of the cons of her workout, however, you're probably not gonna break a sweat. Next on the list is the blue method. If you are a pregnant or newly postpartum mom, this is where you need to go. They go so into depth about belly breathing, which if you've been on this channel for any length of time, you know like belly breathing is my bread and butter. I love talking about belly breathing and belly pumps and strengthening your core in the right way. And these ladies do that over at the Bloom Method. The other great thing about their programs are that there's a lot of variety. You can do yoga, you can do spin classes, you can do postpartum, you can do pregnancy, you can do everything in between. And it's, it's so great for for moms in general. I mean, that's really what the platform was made for. Some of the cons of the program are that it's always by different instructors. I mean, this is good because they have lots of different programs, but it all it is always a new person, so you don't really feel like you're making that bond with the people. And the other thing is that it is a paid program. Well, I think it's very affordable. If you're like, I don't really have that in the budget right now, then the Blue Method might not be for you. Worth mentioning is that I love the Blue Method so much and thought it was so perfect for my clients that I actually reached out to them and I was like, Hey, since you love working with pelvic floor physical therapists and huh, I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist, is there any way we could work together and get special deals and perks for my clients? And they said, absolutely, yes. They sent me an affiliate link and I put that in the description below. So click on that to see what perks they are offering right now for you if you use that link. Back, push it, pull it, push it, pull it, yeah! Next on the list is Jazzercise. And if you are wondering to yourself, why on earth was Dr. Nicole wearing a purple leotard? It's because I wanted to make sure I gave Jazzercise a actual try before recording this video. Best attire award definitely goes to Jazzercise. It will get you up and moving and for sure get your heart rate up. And might I say, she has lots of moves that are great for hip mobility. Whoa, look out, look out, look out. Aha! Uh -huh. If nothing else, at least check out this compilation because it is 
so stinking hilarious. I will say the one kind of this is that 100% chance you are going to have the worst low quality video of all of the options I'm going to provide you with today because almost all of these were recorded on VHS. If you think that Jazzercise is one of the most funny workouts you have ever seen in your whole life, please go ahead and hit that like button. It really, really makes my day when you do that. On a more serious note, Beach Body is a great option for workouts. This was by far the best option and bang for our buck in the sense of me and my husband could both find workouts that we loved, it felt like we were really getting a lot of benefit from. And the reason is, is because they have lift, they have um, yoga, Pilates, they have the 80 day obsession. There's just so many programs. If you and your partner have different like goals with your workouts, then this is a very cost effective way to go. I definitely got my sweat on. I found lots of programs that were set up like, hey, here's an 80 day obsession. Here is exactly what you're doing every day for 80 days. They have meal plans and just a lot of really great options. One of the cons of this program is that I didn't really find it to be very postpartum friendly. They did have one program that said it was for postpartum moms. They talked a little bit about like breathing and modifying ab workouts, but I didn't feel like they went as in depth as some of the other programs like the Blue Method and another one I'm gonna talk about in just a minute here. So if you're a newly postpartum mom or pregnant, this might not be the best place to start, but definitely a great option in the future. And then the second thing is that again, it's a paid program, so it gets to be a little bit pricey, but you could do it with your partner and then it's, you know, one gym membership for both of you. And I also talked to the Beachbody coach that I worked with when I wanted to try it out. And she said she would be willing to give everybody that is wants to try it out a 14 day free trial. So I'm going to go ahead and put that link below. I don't get any kickback from this, but I just figured, hey, who doesn't want a free 14 day trial? So if you want to try Beachbody, definitely head there and check that out. Next on the list is Laura Cleary's pregnancy workout. Step to the left, do, 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 do. Step to the right, do, 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 do. The award for best workout done by a comedian definitely goes to this workout. She is so hilarious. Pros of this workout is she is highlighting pelvic floor. Now squeeze, kegel, kegel, and keep your bits tight. Now clench your front butt and release. She is doing specific exercises for her front butt. I love that she called it a front butt. Who doesn't want to call their vagina and their vulva a front butt? So thank you, Laura Clear, for bringing so much awareness to women's pelvic floor. Next on the list, we have the Get Mom Strong workout. And I don't know if I was supposed to have a favorite when I made this list or not, but this is by far my favorite program. And the reason is, is because I'm fairly newly postpartum. I had a baby about a year ago and I'm still working through healing my diastasis recti. This is the most diastasis recti friendly program of all all the programs out there. She herself had a diastasis recti. She makes sure every exercise is targeted for women with abdominal separation. You are going to get super strong doing these workouts. She focuses a lot on strength training and there, there's a lot of variety and also accountability. Every day you go in there, it's exactly set. Like this is what you're gonna go through today. Uh, day two, tomorrow, this is when I, what you're gonna go through. Love that about her programs. Some of the cons about her program are that to really get the best program, it's a paid. She does have lots of free workouts on Instagram. The workout's totally laid out for you. That is a paid program. And the other thing is there is some equipment needed and she talks about what she recommends, but probably bands and some at least minimal weights are gonna be necessary to really get the most out of her program. Totally love her program. And one of these days she's gonna have an affiliate program. And when she does, you better believe I'm gonna have a link for that in the description below. Now step aside outside right here, no arms. I really wanted to have a pro for every single workout I talked about in this video, but I just, I literally couldn't find one. I don't understand. Do people do this? I don't know. Anyways, next. The next workout is actually another YouTube star. Her name is Jamie Warren. Over on her site, you can find tons of free workouts that are dance workout styles. This is so fun. Whoever came up with the idea that we could dance to get stronger and lose weight is a genius. It's so fun. Over on Jamie's channel, you will learn how to twerk, but also get strong and get a cardio workout going. So definitely check out her channel if you just really love fun dance workouts. She's got a ton there. One con of her workouts is to really get the full effect and to see the whole program and daily assignments and the eating plans and all that. You would want to be a part of her paid program or paid membership program, but truly she has a lot of great free dance style workouts. So if you are into that sort of a workout, you definitely want to head there next and check out what she has to offer. Most trendy workout out there right now goes to the hula hoop. 
I think challenge? I don't know, I'm seeing this all over TikTok. I think I just said TikTok and I'm pretty sure that makes me really old. Over on TikTok, you can see lots of people doing the hula hoop challenge. There are weighted hula hoops. There are like hula hoops that go, it's like a belt and then there's like something that spins around. I don't know, it's not really a hula hoop but I think they're calling it a hula hoop. And I think it's a great way to get active, have fun working out. The con of this type of a workout though is that I think it over promises on the slim down your waist thing. Like there are a lot of components to getting a smaller waistline and it doesn't just have to do with doing ab workouts. There is nutrition factors, there is just fat burn factors in general, which a lot of times requires some strength training. And I don't really feel like with the hula hoop challenge, channels, challenge, challenge, there's a lot of strength training involved because obviously you're working a hula hoop. You're not so much like working on having weights in your hand. Check that out, especially if you were like me and you used to hula hoop as a kid and it brings back a little bit of nostalgia for you. And the last workout I wanna talk about today which is kind of a bonus because I only meant to have 10 and got so excited I ended up with 11, is Alexia K Yoga. Some people don't realize how important it is to have mobility and flexibility to have the whole picture of fitness. We all get really excited about strength training and cardio because we're sweating and we forget how important it is to have mobility within our bodies to really be able to function well, especially if you have any type of back pain, you have pelvic pain, it's important to add yoga into, into your week. Alexia K Yoga by far has the best practices and most beautiful accent on the internet right now. You should definitely check out her channel. Whether it's because it was totally hilarious or you're ready to get your butt kicked by the workout, please put what your favorite workout was from today's video in the comments below. I'm also gonna throw up my video over here about belly breathing because if you are someone that is pregnant or postpartum and you heard me talking about this ab situation, you're like, I don't think I know enough about that. You're definitely gonna wanna check out that video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. It has been a total pleasure. I will see you all in the next video.